This was brought to you by Roger Hansen, Gaming with Infamous on YouTube, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Franklin County Internet Society on Facebook. Weather scale. Weather scale armor is just like the scale now described in Chapter 7 of the Player's Handbook, except that the scales are made of uh, cured leather instead of metal. Moon Ivy. Moon Ivy armor is a close-fitting bodysuit that grows every night and dies at the end of every day. You put on the reef-like choker before going to sleep. Overnight, a tight but flexible bodysuit of ivy grows over your body. When you awaken, you are wearing a tough, fibrous, light armor. Removing the choker causes the moon ivy armor to wither in five rounds. For an additional 500 gold pieces, one of the following types of ivy can be grafted into the armor. Poison ivy. The ivy excuse a poisonous resin once per day if you succeed on a gravel check. Your foal must make a fortitude save, DC 14. If the defender fails, he takes initial and secondary damage of 1 die 3 points of temporary constitution. This poison never affects the wearer. Exposure Explosive spores The ivy is laced with noxious explosive spores. Every day the ivy grows one die three spore pods to a maximum of ten pods. Whenever you are struck in combat with a bludgeoning attack, one of the spores explodes into the space from which the attack came. Anyone in that five foot square must succeed on a fortitude save DC 14 or be nauseated for one die six rounds. Once all of a day's spores are exhausted, the effect is inert until the next day. This nausea never affects the wearer. Pheromones. Once per day, the ivy excuse pheromones that make you seem more attractive. The pheromones grant a plus three bonus on all prisma based checks for three hours. The bonus doubles to plus six if you attempt to influence a creature with scent, but moon ivy pheromones do not affect constructs or undead. Quick escape. Ingeniously crafted, this armor uses special buckles, straps, and releases so it can be removed in mere moments. It is a favorite of wealthy sailors, the adventurers who anticipate going near bodies of water. As a standard action, the wearer pulls on a special lock located on the shield inside a hip, which causes the armor to fall away. Each lock is unique in operation, making it difficult for any anyone other than the owner to undo, especially in the middle of battle. A disabled device check DC 30 is required for someone other than the wearer to release the armor in combat. If the disabled device attempt is made while the wearer is not in combat, 
a rogue, a rogue sneaking up on a sleeping guard, for example, then the DC is reduced to 15. The quick escape extra must be included during the creation of the armor, which must be of master work quality. It takes twice as long as normal to put on the wig to escape on. Table 1 9 Donning Armor Armor type Bone Cord Wood Leather Scale Ring or wicker. Don one minute. Don hostily five rounds. Remove one one minute. Armor type. Brigadine or lamellar. Lamell lamellar. Don four minutes. One. Don. Hastily, one minute. Remove one, one minute. Armor type. Bark, shell, or coral stone. Warp. Don. Four minutes. Don hastily, one minute for bark, shell, or coral. Four minutes for stone. Wood. Remove one. One minute for bark, shell, or coral. One that die four plus one for stone and dwarf. Armor type. Then dritic or moon ivy. Don. Eight hours. Don plus. Uh, hastily slash remove one five rounds. Armor type. Fund leaf wrap. Don 24 hours. Don hastily slash remove one one round. Armor type. Quick escape. Don times two three. Don this hastily times two three. Remove one one action. Ring. Ring armor is composed of rough leather heavily reinforced with hundreds of small metal rings. Ring armor is the precursor of don't do chain metal and is commonly found in cultures that haven't discovered how to create that type of armor. It is a cheap and effective protection popular among town guards. Shell this armor is created out of specially treated tortoise shells and more exotic sea life. The armor making process softens the shells, making them far more pliable and likely to bend instead of shatter when struck. Shell armor includes a breastplate, shoulder guards, and even gauntlets created from smaller and smaller shells. Druids can well wear shell armor without losing access to their spells or class features. Shield Stiletto This small wooden shield has a special switch located on the inside grip. When Triggered, four blades pop out of the edge of the shield, and one larger blade spreads.
springs out from the middle, triggering the retracting, triggering and retracting the blades is a free action. When the blades are activated, the stiletto shield counts as a spiked shield in all aspects. On table 1 through 9, donning armor 1 means if you have some help, cut this time in half. One single character doing nothing else can help one or two adjacent characters. Two characters can't help each other don armor at the same time. 2 means you must have help to don this armor. Without help, you can only don it hastily. And three means it takes twice as long to don quick escape armor as it does normal armor of the same type. Stone Dwarven found almost exclusively among Dwarven kingdoms. This extremely rare armor is created from thin sheets of specially treated stone resembling marble. Dwarven stone armor is very heavy and more ornamental than practical. Consequently, it is the dress uniform for many Dwarven defenders. It, it provides impressive protection as long as the person wearing it does not plan on moving very fast. Dwarven stone armor includes reeds and helmets, but not bombs. Wicker. Wicker armor is the poor soldier's last resort. Tightly woven wreaths cover the entire body, offering slightly more protection than normal clothes. Although the wicker is bulky and loud, the main advantage of wicker armor is its low cost and lightweight. Clever armorsmiths sometimes weave thorns into the wicker effectively, creating spiked armor. Wood. Similar to bone armor, wood armor is clothed or leather reinforced with strips of wood. Getting into and out of armor. The time required to don armor depends on its type. See the table below. I just read table 1 through 9, Armor and Technology. As with weapons, different forms of armor in your campaign might be restricted to certain cultures depending on the level of technology available to those cultures. Champions of an ancient empire serving the Pharaonic pantheon and wielding and wielding bronze kopeshes shouldn't be decked out in steel full plate or even chain mail. They're more likely to wear bronze breastplates at best. Table 1 through 10 Armor technology and culture uses the same technology errors as Table 1-6. Weapons, technology, and culture to show what forms of armor might be common in such cultures. If armor isn't listed in Table 1-10, through 10, it either doesn't have a real-world history, such as dwarven stone armor, or it wasn't prevalent during any of the pre pre medieval historical eras, such as the plague. While 
weapons tend to have a common form and bear vary only in their material over the course of, te of technological advancement. Bone or stone daggers yield to bronze daggers, which yields to iron or steel daggers. Different forms of armor are technological advancements in themselves. Stone Age cultures don't make a bone stone chain metal. They use leather, fatty, wood, or bone. Table 1 pin Art Technology and Culture Armor Type Banded Metal Oh wait, before I start. C means common in this time period. U means uncommon in this time period. Slash means not usually found in this time period. Armor type. Banded male. Stone age. Slash. Bronze age. Slash. Dark age. U. Crusades. U. Armor type. Bark. Stone age. Com C. Bronze Age slash Dark Age slash Crusade slash Armor Type Bone Stone Age C Bronze Age slash Dark Age slash Crusade slash Armor Type Breastplate Stone Age slash Bronze Age U Dark Ages U Crusade U Armor type Brigandine Stone Age slash Bronze Age slash Dark Age slash Crusade U Armor type Chain Shirt Stone Age slash Bronze Age slash Dark Ages C Crusade C Chain mail <clears throat> or armor type chain mail. Stone age slash bronze age slash dark ages U Crusade C. Armor type cord. Stone age C bronze age slash dark ages slash and crusade slash. Armor type half blade. Stone Age slash Bronze Age slash Dark Age slash Crusade U. Armor type hide. Stone Age C Bronze Age slash Dark Age slash Crusade slash. Armor type laminar. Stone Age slash Bronze Age. U, Dark Ages C, Crusade Slash. Armor Type Leather, Stone Age C, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade U. Armor Type Leather Scale, Stone Age C, Dark Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusades C, or U. Armor Type, Padded, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusades C. Armor Type, Ring Metal, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Ages C, Crusade C. Armor type Scale Mill. Stone Age slash Bronze Age. Bronze Age U. Dark Ages C. Crusade U. Armor type Splint Mill. 
Stone Age slash Bronze Age slash Dark Age slash Crusades U. Armor type Studded Leather Stone Age slash Bronze Age C Dark Ages C Crusades C. Armor type Wicker Stone Age C Bronze Age C Dark Ages or no, Bronze Ages slash Dark Ages slash Crusade slash Armor type Wood Stone Age C Bronze Age slash Dark Ages slash Crusade slash While weapons tend to have a common form and vary only in their material over the course of technology, over the course of technological advancement, bone or stone dagger yields no bronze dagger, which yields bone or stone dagger yields to bronze dagger, which yields to iron or steel dagger. Different forms of armor are are technological advancements in themselves. Stone Age cultures don't make bone or stone chainmail. They use leather padded wood or bone armor. Historically, only a few exceptions to this rule exist, and they are all made of bronze. Bronze shields. Bronze shields have the same protective value as steel shields and their cost and weight are the same. The hardness of the bronze shield is nine compared to iron's pin. However, a small bronze shield has seven hit points and a large, larger bronze shield has 14 hit points. Bronze plus breastplate. While the relative softness of bronze diminishes its usefulness in weapons, it allows elaborate sculpting of bronze breath breastplates, which makes this armor a favorite of some military commanders. It is also popular parade dress. The bronze breastplate armor bonus is one worse than a steel breastplate plus four, but its maximum dexterity bonus is one better, also plus four. Armor equivalents. For whatever reason, historical armor generally seems easier to categorize than weapons and armor. No, than weapons and armor isn't subject to the same abundance of nomenclature that exists to describe weapons. There is therefore no need to provide equivalents for such for most forms of armor. Therefore, there is a general understanding of what full plate or chainmail armor is aren't likely to run across hundreds of variant names for those armors. As always, there are exceptions. In this case, primarily the armor of the ancient Romans. Early Roman armor was called Lorica, a hard leather caros, similar to leather armor in D&D. The term expanded to include the three most common kinds of Roman metal armor. Lorica, segmentata, banded mail, Lorica, humata, a chain shirt, and Lorica, spomata, scale mail. Just as mithril, Adamantine and dark wood can make fantastic armor and shields. 
So too can the materials described below do wonders in the hands of a competent armsman. When a material improves the armor check penalty that is re that is reduced is shown on table 111 new armor materials as a positive adjustment plus if it increases the armor check penalty it is shown as a negative adjustment negative astral drift metal this extraordinary material is mined only on islands of matter floating on the astral plane it is very similar to iron but has a single extraordinary feature it has a 25 percent chance of being effective against an incorporeal incorporeal attack as if it were made of force as if it were made of force it is not malleable enough to be worked into chain metal or scale metal only a breastplate shield or any form of heavy armor can be made from astral drift metal a suit of drift metal armor weighs five pounds more than the same armor made of steel but the other statistics of the armor maximum dexterity bonus armor check penalty spell failure chance are unchanged astral drift metal has a hardness of 12 and 30 hit points per inch of thickness its market price modifier is plus 1000 gold pieces Blend quartz. This rare, naturally occurring blend of iron and quartz is cumbersome and difficult to wear. Armor and shields made from blended quartz weigh twice as much as normal and incur the normal armor check penalty. The DC of relevant craft checks involving blended quartz increases by five, but blended quartz is a surprisingly good conduit of magical energy. Spell failure chances for blended quartz armor and shields are reduced by 20%. Weapons made from blended quartz weigh twice as much as normal, but gain no additional benefits. Blended quartz has a hardness of 8 and 15 hit points per inch of thickness. Item White Armor Market Price Modifier plus 2000 gold pieces. Item Medium Armor Market Price Modifier plus 5000 gold pieces. Item Heavy Armor, Market Price Modifier, plus 10,000 gold pieces. Shield, Item Shield, Market Price Modifier, plus 2,000 gold pieces per pound. Bronze Wood. This exceptional hard wood is useful for making both armor and weapons. Unlike most woods, bronze wood can be used instead of metal to fashion heavy armor and weapons. <clears throat> Although dense and weighty compared to other woods, it is still lighter than most metal. Items weigh 10% less when made from bronze wood rather than metal. Armor made of bronze wood is also less obtrusive than similar armor made of metal. 
the armor check penalty for bronze with armor and shields does not affect pride pride checks made in woodland environments. The following armors can be made from bronze wood, breastplates, banded mail, splint mail, pathway. Table 111, New Armor Materials. Armor material, white armor, blended quartz, cost plus 2,000 gold pieces, max dex bonus adjustment, same, armor check penalty adjustment, same, arcane spell failure, negative 20%, Speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, same weight times two. Armor material, white armor, bronze wood. Cost plus 1,000 gold pieces. Max dex bonus adjustment, same. Armor check penalty adjustment, same. Arcane spell failure, same. Speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, same, weight negative 10%. Armor material, white armor, dark leaf elder, cost plus 750 gold pieces, max dex bonus adjustment plus 1, armor check penalty adjustment plus 2, arcane spell failure, negative 5%, speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same, weight same. Armor material, Elukian clay, cost plus 1,000 gold pieces, max dex bonus, adjustment, same, Armor check penalty adjustment, negative one. Arcane spell failure, same. Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same. Weight, same. Armor material, light armor. Entropium, cost plus 750 gold pieces, max. Dex bonus adjustment plus two armor check penalty adjustment plus two slash negative two arcane spell failure negative ten percent Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, 20 foot slash 15 foot, weight plus 2 pounds. Armor material, light armor. Leaf weave, elven. Cost plus 75 gold pieces. Max Dex bonus adjustment plus one. Armor check penalty adjustment negative two. Arcane spell failure times two. No, negative five percent. Okay, let me do that again. Leap Weave Elven costs plus 750 gold pieces, max dex bonus adjustment is plus one, armor check penalty adjustment is plus two, arcane spell failure is five, negative five percent, speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same, weight, same. 
armor material, white armor. Or Drupin or Drupar or Drupar cost five hundred gold pieces per pound. Max Dex bonus adjustment negative one armor check penalty adjusted adjustment negative two arcane spell failure times two speed thirty foot slash twenty foot same weight same. Armor material, white armor. Use Guardian Heart Wire, cost plus 1500 gold pieces. Max Dex bonus adjustment, same. Armor check penalty adjustment, same. Arcane spell failure, same. Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same. Weight, same. Armor material, medium armor, astral grip metal, cost 1,000, oh, plus 1,000 gold pieces, max dexterity, bonus adjustment, same, armor check penalty adjustment, same, arcane spell failure, same, speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same, weight, plus five pounds. Armor material, astral drip metal. Armor material, medium armor, blended quartz. Cost plus five gold pieces. Max dex bonus adjustment, same. Armor check penalty adjustment, same. Arcane spell failure, negative 20%, speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same, weight times 2. Armor material, medium armor, bronze wood, cost plus 4,000 gold pieces, max dexterity bonus adjustment, same armor check penalty adjustment same arcane spell failure same speed 30 foot slash 20 foot same weight negative 10 percent armor material medium armor dark leaf elven cost plus 2,250 gold pieces, max dex bonus, adjustment, plus one, armor check penalty, adjustment, plus two, arcane spell failure, negative five percent, speed 30 foot slash 20 foot that's 30 foot slash 20 foot weight is the same armor material medium armor Alluvian clay cost plus 2,000 gold pieces max dexterity bonus Adjustment Same Armor check penalty adjustment Negative one Arcane spell failure Same speed 30 foot slash 20 foot same and weight same armor material medium armor in tropium cost 
2,000 gold pieces, plus 2,000 gold pieces, max dexterity bonus adjustment, plus 2, armor check penalty adjustment, plus 2 slash negative 2, arcane spell failure, negative 10%, speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, same, Weight is five pounds plus five pounds. Armor material medium armor or three card cost plus five hundred gold pieces per pound. Max dex bonus adjustment. Same armor check penalty adjustment, same arcane spell failure times two, speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, same weight plus 10 percent. Armor material medium armor, Sigardian heart wire. Cost plus 1500 gold pieces. Max dex bonus adjustment, same. Armor check penalty adjustment, same. Arcane spell failure, same. Speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, same. Weight, same. Armor material, heavy armor. Astral Drift Metal Cost plus 1000 gold pieces Max Dex Bonus Adjustment Same Armor Check Penalty Adjustment Same Arcane Spell Failure Same Speed 30 feet slash 20 feet Same Weight plus 5 pounds Armor Material Heavy Armor Blended Quartz, plus 10,000 gold pieces. Max Dexterity Bonus Adjustment. Same. Armor Check Penalty Adjustment. Same. Arcane Spell Failure, negative 20%. Speed 30 feet slash 20 feet. Same. Weight times 2. Armor material, bronze wood, cost plus 9,000 9, gold pieces, max dex bonus adjustment, same, armor check penalty adjustment, same, arcane spell failure, same, speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, same, weight negative 10 percent armor material heavy armor chip cost less than thousand gold pieces max dex bonus adjustment same armor check penalty adjustment same arcane spell failure same Speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, same. Weight times half. Armor material, heavy armor, dark leaf elven, cost plus 3,000 gold pieces. Max Dex bonus adjustment plus one armor check penalty adjustment plus two arcane spell failure negative five percent speed thirty feet slash twenty feet same weight same armor material heavy armor Olukian clay 
Frost plus 4,000 gold pieces. Max dex bonus adjustment. Same. Armor check penalty adjustment. Negative one. Arcane spell failure. Same. Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot. Same. Weight. Same. Armor material, heavy armor, entropium, cost plus 8,000 gold pieces, max dex bonus adjustment plus 2, armor check penalty adjustment plus 2 slash negative 2, arcane spell failure negative 10%, speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same weight, same. <clears throat> That's for the weekend play, I hope. <clears throat> okay, armor, material, heavy armor, entropium. Plus 8,000 gold pieces. Max dexterity bonus adjustment. Plus two armor check penalty adjustment plus two slash negative two arcane spell failure negative ten percent speed thirty foot slash twenty foot same weight plus ten pounds armor material heavy armor or rebar cost plus 500 gold pieces per pound max dex bonus adjustment same armor check penalty adjustment same arcane spell failure times 2 speed 30 feet slash 20 feet same weight same armor material heavy armor so Guardian Park Wire cost plus 1500 gold pieces, max dex bonus adjustment, same. Armor check penalty adjustment, same. Arcane spell failure, same. Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same. Weight, same. Armor material shield. Astral Grip Metal, cost plus 1,000 gold pieces, max dex bonus adjustment, same, armor check penalty adjustment, same, arcane spell failure, same, speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same, weight plus 5 pounds, armor material shield blended quartz, cost plus 2,000 gold pieces per pound. Max dex bonus adjustment, same. Armor check penalty adjustment, same. Arcane spell failure, negative 20%. Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same. Weight times 2. Armor material shields bronze wood cost plus two thousand no, plus two hundred and fifty gold pieces per pound. Max dex bonus adjustment same armor check penalty adjustment same arcane spell failure same Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same, weight negative 10%. Armor material, shields, chip, the cost plus 2,000 gold pieces, max dex bonus adjustment, same, armor check Penalty adjustment, same. Arcane spell failure, same. 
speed 30 foot slash 20 foot same. Weight times half. Armor material shields. Alukian clay cost plus 200 gold pieces per pound. Maximum dexterity bonus adjustment. Same. Armor check penalty adjustment negative one. Arcane spell failure. Same. Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot same, weight same. Armor material shields. Entropium. Cost plus 750 gold pieces. Max dex bonus adjustment same. Armor check penalty adjustment plus 2 slash negative 2. Arcane spell failure plus two negative two speed thirty foot slash twenty foot negative ten percent weight plus two pounds armor material shields or through car cost plus two hundred fifty gold pieces per pound. Max Dex bonus adjustment, same. Armor check penalty adjustment, same. Arcane spell failure times two. Speed 30 foot slash 20 foot, same. Weight, same. The following armors can be made from bronze wood, breastplate, Branded metal, splint metal, half blade, and full blade. Although bronze wood can replace metal in most weapons, chain weapons such as spike chains cannot be made from it. Bronze wood has a hardness of 10 and 20 hit points per inch of thickness. Item light armor. Market price modifier plus 1,000 gold pieces. Item medium armor. Market price modifier plus 4,000 gold pieces. Item heavy armor. Market price modifier plus 9,000 gold pieces. Item other items. Market price modifier 500 gold pieces per pound. Chip. Difficult to work and dangerous to obtain, the exoskeletons of massive insects are still used to construct weapons and armor, especially in areas where metal is scarce. Weapons and armor made from chip weigh half as much as similar metal, metal items. Although chip can be can replace metal in most items. Chain weapons such as the spike chain cannot be made from chip, nor can chainmail armor or chain shirts. Giant insects and similar creatures are the only source of chip plates big enough for crafting armor. To provide workable chip the creature must have a plus 5 natural armor bonus or better. Much as they, much as they can work choice bits of dragon hide into armor, armor smiths can make one suit of banded mail for a creature of two, two sizes smaller than the source creature. One suit of half plate for a creature three sizes smaller, or one breastplate or suit of full plate for a creature four sizes smaller. In each case, 
there is enough material left over to create a large or small shield, one large or medium sized weapon, two small weapons, or 50 arrow or bolt heads, provided that the source creature is large or bigger. Tip has a hardness of 5 and 10 hit points per inch of thickness. Item Heavy Armor, Market Price Modifier, plus 10,000 gold pieces. Item Shield, Market Price Modifier, plus 2,000 gold pieces. Dark Leaf Elven. Similar to Elven Leafly armor, see below, Elven Dark Leaf armor is made of carefully cured and beautifully carved pieces of dark wood. See Chapter 8 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Supplemented by how chemically treated leaves. Making armor out of dark leaf reduces its spell failure chance by 5% because the armor is so flexible. The maximum dexterity bonus of dark leaf armor is increased by plus 1 and armor check penalties are reduced by 2. Most dark leaf armors are only category wide, are, are one category wider than normal for purposes of movement and other limitations. For example, whether the barbarian can use his fast movement ability. If made of 11 dark leaf, heavy armor is treated as medium. Medium armor is treated as light but light armor is still treated as light. Only armors generally made of metal can be constructed from elven dark leaf. Creating elven dark leaf armor requires a successful al alchemy check, DC 25, in addition to the normal craft armor smithing. Checks required to make armor. Lucian clay. Although barely malleable in its natural state, this rough gray stone can be shaped into weapons and armor in a process similar to sculpting. Also known as sea stone, the Lucian clay is formed in part by seeping from the elemental plane of water. It has a strong affinity to water, so those traveling in or over large bodies of water value it greatly. Items made from Alukium clay do not count against the wearer's weight total when calculating armor check penalties for swim check checks. Although it can be shaped into a point, the Lucian clay does not hold an edge very well. Only piercing and bludgeoning weapons can be made from the Lucian clay. Armor and shields made from the Lucian clay have their armor check penalty increased by one. Once formed, an item made from Alukium clay takes three days to harden. Items used before the hardening is complete are easily ruined. Such items have zero hardness and only one tenth of their normal hit points. Once dried, Alukium clay items have a unparted hardness of 10 and 30 hit points per inch of thickness. Sharpen, sharping, no, shaping Lucian clay into armor requires the craft sculpting skill. Item, light armor, market price modifier, 
plus 1,000 gold pieces. Item medium armor. Market price modifier plus 2,000 gold pieces. Item heavy armor plus 4,000 gold pieces. Item other items. Market price modifier plus 200 gold pieces a pound. Entropion. If Zerai armor smiths in the ever-changing chaos of the limbo have found a way to alloy ordinary iron with some of the shifting chaos stuff of their native plane, the resulting metal called entropion is heavier than iron but can be used to make effective armor. A suit of entropium armor actually shifts as its wear moves, allowing incredible flexibility at the cost of increased weight. White entropium armor is considered medium and weighs two pounds more than normal. Medium armor is heavy and weighs five pounds more than normal and heavy armor is simply more so weighing to 10 pounds more than normal. Shields also weigh 2 pounds more than their steel counterparts. The armor check penalty of the armor increased by 2 for strength related skills, climb and jump, and decreased by two for dexterity related skills of balance, escape, artist, hide, move, silenting, silently, picking, pockets, and company. The arcane spell failure chance decreases by 10% to a minimum of 5%, and the maximum. Dexterity bonus increases by plus two. Naturally, entropium improves only armors made primarily of metal, including chain shirts, all medium armor except hide, all heavy armor, and steel shields. Entropium has a hardness of 15 and 40 hit points per inch of thickness. Item Light Armor, Market Price Modifier plus 750 gold pieces. Item Medium Armor, Market Price Modifier plus 2000 gold pieces. Item Heavy Armor, Market Price Modifier plus 8000 gold pieces. Item Shield Market Price Modifier plus 750 gold pieces. Leaf Weave Elven Elven Artisans Weave Suits of Armor from Forest Leaves, which are then treated by a special alchemical process that makes them as tough and flexible as a leather with considerably less weight and encumbrance. Such suits are made in both springtime and autumn styles. Springtime leaf weave armor is vivid green while the autumn style is made up of red, orange, and yellow leaves. The spell failure chance for elven leaf weave armor is reduced by 5% due to its increased flexibility. The maximum dexterity bonus is increased by plus 1 and armor check penalties are reduced by 2. Armor that, armors that are generally constructed of metal cannot be duplicated with elven leaf weed. Creating elven leaf weave armor requires a successful alchemic uh, alchemy check DC 25 in addition to the normal craft 
Palmer Smith in checks. Or Drucker. Or Drucker, often referred to as Mind Steel, is a dark metal found only in the deepest recesses of the Underdark. Naturally resistant to the divination magic. Items made from Erdrugar are greatly prized by those who do not wish to be found. Every five pounds of Erdrugar that a character wears or carries increases the DC for all attempts to scry on that character by plus two. Armor and shields made from or grouper have double the normal arcane spell failure chance. Or grouper is heavier and harder to work with than most other metals. Armor made from it tends to be somewhat uh, clumsier, making gestures more difficult. A grouper has a hardness of 15 and 30 hit points per inch of thickness. Metal items made from a grouper cost an additional 500 gold pieces per pound. The Stardian Heartwire. This incredibly fine, flexible metal is found only in the deep mines of Medivillar. It in in the heroic domains of Isgard. Isgard. It is not suitable for making an entire suit of armor, but small sections of Heart wire mail can be incorporated into chain shirts, chain mail, or heavy armor to reinforce vital areas. That reinforcement has the effect of increasing the weapon AC by plus two solely for purposes of the roll to confirm critical hit. The heart wire is so fine and light that it does not increase the armor's weight. The market price modifiers for such a suit of armor is plus 1500 gold pieces. This was brought to you by Roger Hansen, Gaming with Infamous, on YouTube, Patreon, and Anchor. We are on Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on Facebook too. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments.